The aluminium square fins, square fins, okay, of 10 mm length are provided on a surface of semiconductor electronic device to carry one watt. Here Q is given, okay. Earlier we were calculating Q with the formula and fortunately that is given in this numerical of energy generated by electronic device. The temperature of the surface of the device T O is given, okay, 80 degrees Celsius when surrounding temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. T A is also given, okay. Taking the following data, find the number of fins. Now here, the number of fins because you know there won't be any single fin on a surface which uh, which you are intending to reduce the heat transfer for. So there will be number of fins. So the number of fins has to be calculated for this uh, numerical. So it is the same thing. The only thing is that they have twisted the the finding that you need to do. So taking the following data, find the number of fins required to carry out the above duty. Neglect the heat, less, uh, heat loss from the end of the fins. So you know what kind, what formula you need to deploy, right? So it is the second part. The second part is the heat loss from uh, men, when the heat is going to encounter the tip which is insulated. Okay, solution. Okay, so cross-sectional area, you need to calculate the cross-sectional area and then since it's a square, so it will be B square. Okay, so the length is given, the Q is given here, TO is given, TA is given, K is given and the H is given. So the number of fins required you need to calculate. Okay, so number of fins required, so Q fins, you know that is root over HPKA theta naught tan HML into N. So N here will be what we'll be finding out and N is basically number of fins required right so you need to calculate the m here okay where p is the perimeter and just with this simple mathematical relations okay since the q is given the left hand side has already been uh, has already been given to you so it's now basically very simple and everything is given so you just need to calculate n so with the simple mathematical correlation and the simple mathematical rearranging and calculation you can actually get the number of fins as 85 so you need to find, you need to check out, you need to desynthesize the numerical the way they want. They means the setter wants, okay. So uh, it doesn't mean that you have, you know, uh, uh, means you have been taught as that first of all find out M and then you need to find out Q. No, uh, you need to check out each and every line of the numerical. See here the Q was given and, uh, and if you do not, you know, open your eyes into this particular line, then you would be in trouble. So here the number of fins. So it's a uh, it's a good numerical because it asks for something else which is not, you know, uh, uh, which is not you know quite cyclostyle. Okay. The next, okay. The pin fins are provided to increase the heat transfer rate from a hot surface. Which of the following arrangement will give higher heat transfer rate? Six fins of ten centimeter length. It's a comparison, right? And then the twelve fins of five centimeter length. Take fins thermal conductivity. As, as 200 watts per meter degree Celsius and H as 20 watts per meter square degree Celsius. The cross sectional area of fin is basically 2 centimeters square. Okay, perimeter of the fin is 4 centimeters. Fin base temperature TO 230 and surrounding air TA 30. Okay, degree Celsius. So everything is given here, friends. So area is given, peram, uh, perimeter is given, TO is given, TA is given, K is given, and the H is given. What do you need to calculate? You need to calculate the number. See, here the number of fins is given. Okay, the number of fins is given and you need to calculate Q. In the early numerical, it was, you need to calculate N and the Q was given, right? So you need to open your eyes and you need to check out, you need to desynthesize the numerical as they, as they want you to do. Okay, so it is the heat flow. Uh, so it is Q is equals to N, this, N into the root over HPKA. Uh, theta naught 10 H ml. So it is M here. Case 1, put N is equals to 6, calculate Q. Case 2, put N is equals to 12 and everything and then calculate Q. Okay. So as you can see, the heat transfer rate when the fin was 10 centimeters length, 6 numbers, the heat was 90 watts. But here, when you're increasing it to 12 fins of reduced length, like 5 centimeters length, so the heat transfer is increasing. So which is better friends? The second one is better. So this is what they have asked, right? Now the next thing, once again, 
One end of a long rod, 35 mm in diameter, is inserted into a furnace with the other end projecting into the outside air. After the steady state is reached, the temperature of the rod is measured at two points, 180 mm apart and found to be 180 degrees Celsius and 145 degrees Celsius full stop. The atmospheric air temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. If the heat transfer coefficient is 65 watts per meter square degree Celsius, calculate the thermal conductivity of the rod. Okay, so what is given here friends? The diameter is given, the atmospheric temperature is given and the heat transfer coefficient is given. So, we know that for the insulated end, that for the insulated end, the temperature profile is this. I think you are all acquainted now. The temperature profile is this. So, at x is equals to 1, okay. So, at x is equals to 1, the equation reduces to this. Just put the values, okay. So, you will have ml this. Then, you need to calculate the m. So, m will be like this. So, it will be root over hpka by this. It is just normal mathematical because, uh, uh, you know, you, you cannot actually go on uh, step by step. Uh, you cannot, you know, do the step by step desynthesizing of this on the screen. But when you start calculating it, everything will fall into the place. So it is root, uh, it is HPKA by this, and then you, what you need to calculate, you need to calculate the value of K. So finally, here you are. You are done with the value of K, right? So this is another numerical of the same stature. So uh, the same thing here. They have applied. The I'm not going uh, in, uh, that means deeper into it. So they have uh, gone for you know deploying the formula for the temperature profile. Okay, so here they have calculated the length. Okay, again the same thing. The heat exchange in a certain chemical process involved from metal surface. The same thing. What do you need to find out? Okay, now this thing I will be touching the fin efficiency. Okay, temperature at the tip of the fin is again the temperature profile that they are talking about. You can see actually, see uh, the temperature profile will come into the picture definitely. Okay, and here x is equals to L because he is talking about at the tip, right? So the equation will actually reduce to this. So you can calculate. Now I will be talking about the fin efficiency. This is a topic that I haven't touched in my previous slide or in this slide. So it will be tan H ML when we are talking about the insulated end. So it is 10 HML by ML. So that will be efficiency of a fin. So it is 52.67%. Okay. So 